religions. There's much more than this what I got on the board. Just like I said, over 1,400 religion. That's what those aprons was. That's what those garments. Man's doctrine. And Genesis 3 and 9 say, and the Lord God called it out to Adam and said unto him, where are you, Adam? And I like to say to everybody today, where are you? What? Where are you hiding? What doctrine you hiding your flesh in? Revelation 18 and 3 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, look at the boy. Get ready to close. Come out of her. Religion. Who is her? My people that you be not partaking of her sins and that you receive not of her pleasure. Come out of her. The doctrine of the serpent. The system of the serpent. Who is her? Man's, look at the boy, man's order. Adam and Eve was in, they hid themselves because they was in man's order. They was no more, they had communion with God, but no more they was in God's order. See, God's got an order, church, and man's got an order. Who is her? Give me three minutes. Man's order. The system of religion. Who is Babylon? That's who man or else. Who the system of religion? Who is Babylon? Who is Babylon? That's who man or else. That's what that what's the system is. the system of religion is Babylon. And Babylon stand for confusion. And God said, come out of confusion. And you know, this kind of mind is confused. Amen. Where are you, Adam? We close it. Loose yourself. Look at the boy. Loose yourself from those garments. Green yours, religious garments. Babylon. Sister, the mind of the serpent. Where are you, Adam? Shake the dust off Matthew 14. What is the dust? The dust is that which is caught up. The caught up mind. Take the Fig leaves, aprons, religious garments off. Say it's a spirit. Awake and arise from the dead. Yeah. Put on you your heavenly garments. Say it the spirit. Your heavenly garments, the spirit of praise. It's the spirit, the mind of God. Roman 86 said, For to be caught on my ears, what? Death. That's the serpent. Ye eat, God says, ye eat of this fruit, ye shall die. But to be spiritual minded is life and peace. God bless you.